Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to uh, the first time we've ever drafted the single elimination Legacy Cube. Um, well, we're in an awkward position where if we lose the first round, that's that. So <laughs> I feel like this is a situation where we can be much, we not, not only, um, not only uh, do we get to be less, uh, less experimental, we probably should be less experimental as well. Oh boy. Like this is the fun part about cube for me is trying out all the different strategies and being like, oh cool, this is a new card. I want to take this and, and, and play it. I'm tempted to take no, so the Koth is probably gonna table. So I'm tempted to take Rabble Master and have the Koth come back. Because Rabble Master is also good in other things as well. And then we can take either Chain Lightning or Pyromancer, or we can even take Renin Six. Chain Lightning. I'm just gonna mono red. Are we just mono redding this? <clears throat> Pyromancer does it? Is it look? Does it look better than Chain Lightning, which is like the second, the second best lightning bolt, right? I hate this. I hate that this is in there. Put a loyalty counter on each red planeswalker you control. So zero could be it could be nothing. It might just be red cap actually. Red cap seems fine. I bet this kind of. Do you think sword is better than? The sure the zero is plus one, but it doesn't do anything. So who cares? This is probably gonna come back though. Yeah, I'll take sword. Outpost Siege or Fight with Fire? I think we just fight with fire. Yeah, we can take Fight with Fire. Ooh, Burst Lightning. Burst Lightning is uh, strictly better than Shiv and Fire. They're the exact same card, except Burst Lightning is to any target. Uh, Red Cap can deal too. You think someone's cutting red? I don't think so. I haven't gotten that impression at all. That's a late burst lightning. I mean, how many red cards do you think are in packs? Sorry, Mizzy Mortars, Electrolyze. I like Electrolyze a lot. Our three drop slots looking a little, a little tight here. I don't think it's eight drop, and I don't think it's Mizzy Mortars because it can't go to the face. Sacred Foundry is nice. Electrolyze I like even more though. And this does set us up for a nice blue red deck. Uh, no, the Magic Online cubes are usually never. Uh the exact size of a pod. Electrolyze is a bomb, I agree with you. And you know why? Because it's a blue card and it says draw a card on it. Shiv and Fire, Siege Gang Commander, Force of Negation. This is definitely a Siege Gang Commander pack. Yeah, let's take Siege Gang. My favorite kind of card, blue and draw. Yeah, it's almost, maybe that's, it almost feels like that's why I said that. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, I like a search for Ascanti here. Is that better than Mix Rat Eye Reveler? Probably. Rick's Mad Eye? Mix Rat Eye is what I said. I'll just take this. I don't. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, the Koth came back. That's what we were hoping for. 
I feel like the Chandra might come back, and actually it might be decent with a Koth. Alright. Also, Sword of Fire and Ice is blue and red. Coincidence? Probably. Oh, eh, Ren and Six. Not gonna take a Tangle Wire. I'll take the Ren and Six. We still don't know what's going on here. Also, if the if that Chandra if that Chandra does come back, we have a Ren and Six to pump. See, now we're looking at Red Planeswalker deck over here. Hmm. All three of these cards are good, so. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Oh, you can also just lose in round one and be like, well, thanks for watching, guys. This has been another fun adventure with the Legacy Single Elimination Cube. Rock and roll. Sunny D ain't orange juice. The Chandra did come back. I will take that Chandra. It's borderline playable when we have a lot of planeswalkers. <laughs> oh god, I can't even handle it. Uh Outpost Siege comes back. Oh boy. I actually like Outpost Siege. Drawing an extra card to turn is pretty decent. Also. That's not bad either. Whenever a creature you control leaves the battlefield, his one interesting target, and then we have Chandra to make two one ones. You sacrifice them. Uh, let's take you. Are there wars greater for this cube? I don't know actually. Probably. God, can you imagine if they're not? They're just like here's the same prizes, even though you can only play one round. I think this card is actually great. Seven more play points. Wow. Legion War Boss is great. So is Treachery. I'm a big Time Warp fan. I feel like we just take the War Boss here. It cuts red pretty highly. Eh, Treachery, I don't... Treachery is great, but... I think I don't feel like I have a real reason to not just war boss here. One win is 100 play points. So if we go 1 0, 1 1. Then we just make our, our income back. Of course, the problem is, like, our opponent can literally just go, like, sneak attack Emrakul, and then we're like, oh, we got wrecked. Oh, Hellrider is exactly what you want for this deck, especially with Chandra and double Warboss. Oh, boy. I do need more 2 and one drops, but I'm okay with what's going on right now, I'll be honest with you. Stoke the Flame seems fantastic. PNLR is fine. I don't think we need another 3 drop that makes tokens. Yeah, the, yeah, the Channel Fireball Channel Fireball actually had a great uh, idea for that. Because if you go into a video and it's like 15 minutes, then you're like, alright, so you just lost in the first round. Cool. Um, so they would add like an hour, hour and a half to the end of the video that's just like a, a screen that says this has been added here to conceal the, the results. 
Um, I think that's a great workaround, but I just, I do wish they like literally just actually had non single elimination rounds. Oh yeah. Let me change the description. Legacy cube single elim. Yeah. Meh. What? 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 I bet Crater Marker comes back. Hmm. This seems good. I'm gonna take this Chandra. It seems way better than like a two, uh, just a random two drop. Hmm. Uh, God, Flamethrower Kaku and Taiga. Taiga's not bad. If the waste, if the oh Grim Monolith. Oh shit. <laughs> This is a late Grim Monolith. I think we're just Grim Monolithing. We have a lot of cards that we can play on turn two. Or on turn three, rather. Yeah, we're just taking a Grim Monolith. That's not even close. Oh, speaking of Chandra Tribal. And there's a Pia and Kieran Alar. Jeez. Okay, but again, though, this Chandra just gets better with other Chandras, so... Runaway Steamkin, Runaway Steamkin, never coming back. In the red deck, is looking really bad. <laughs> Someone's cutting red. <laughs> and ain't nobody cutting red. How many Planeswalkers do we have right now for our, uh, for our, our other Chandra? Dragon Skull. Oh, Fire Ice comes back. I'll just play Fire as Fire. Like that's pretty. That's pretty baller. And then if we get like a, a volcanic island, we can just play it as an ice. It also triggers young pyromancer, it shoots two things. Like that's that's great. Stomping ground? Sure. What if the tiger comes back and then we just have like an easy way to play Ren and Six? Sure, I'll take a PNLR. Sure, I'll take a Faithless Looting. Sure, I'll take the Bloodbraid Elf. Sure, I'll take the Flame Tongue Kavo. Sure, I'll take the PNLR. Boy, that <laughs> that that's somebody cutting red comments. Really not. That's really not holding up here. Ooh, Kiki Jiki, and a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Hot hot diggity dog. Okay, so this goes here. Uh, Stoke is probably like a two drop. We don't need Outpost Siege and Chandra. We can put the Outpost Siege in the sideboard. We'll put Bloodbraid Elf in the sideboard. The Taiga didn't come back, unfortunately. I think it's actually just like Kiki Jiki. I don't like I don't like Dak in this cube, and we have no way to play it really. Like I'm not gonna mess my mana base up for a Dak. Like Dak doesn't steal like power. There's no Moxes. There's no there's no Signets. There's no Lotus. Not like you're going to steal a Lotus ever. But if they play a Lotus and then you want to steal it, they're just going to sack it. So it still gets rid of their Lotus. Kiki Jiki is great because you can copy things like Siege Gang Commander or Thunder My Hellkite or Hell Rider, Flame Tongue Kavu. I mean, the, the, the amount you see Gilded Lotus and Swords in the cube is very, very low, though. I think we need to keep that in mind. Whereas Kiki Jiki, if we do end up picking up the other pieces, we're just in... We're just doing well. Just just living the living the dream. I like Manic Vandal in the main deck. I mean, again, because like it can kill these, like you said, but also because it's just a two two. And it's on color. Yeah, okay, Vandal then? Yes, Vandal is better because it's not I'm not splashing blue and like messing with my mana base. I bet Banefire comes back, and if Sulphur Falls comes back, then yeah, we're probably still not playing blue. Whoa this is all I want to do. Monster Swift Spear seems great, though. We'll take a Swift Spear. You'll get caught up in the Bane Fire. Glorybringer? Glorybringer's fantastic. This is a card that I'm always impressed with. I think we can cut P and LR here. Peanut and LR. It's about peanuts. We can probably cut Steel Hellkite and Walking Ballista. Oh, wow. Uh, we're going to go Grimmelov Mancer. Flame Slash doesn't kill players
Magma Jet and Dismissive Pyromancer. Oh, there's a Pestermite too to go with our Kikums McJikums. There is a sneaky Grim Monolith in here, yeah, which I think is great because we can go turn three Shonda or turn two any one of these guys. <sighs> I like Magma Jet because it goes well with Young Pyromancer. Yeah, Rift Bolt. I mean, Pina and Carolar is three bodies, and it also gives us two flying creatures. Which I think is pretty good. I'm tempted to just cut this this three mana Chandra. But actually negativing to cast a card in our graveyard is pretty good. Man, this deck looks great, and I really don't... Kiki Jiki we can cut for now. I don't think we're really taking advantage of your Kiki Jiki-ness. Flame Tongue Kava we can also cut. It's a card that if you don't have something on board... What are my thoughts about organized play in the future of Paper Magic? I have no thoughts on that, actually. It's too, it's too big of a topic for me to, like... I don't play enough Paper Magic to even keep track of it, to be honest with you, and, like... What about sword? Are you saying to cut sword? <laughs> wow. I didn't think you were that crazy. Rootbound Crag. It gives us an option for... I mean, we're not going to play Greater Gargadon, I don't think. But then again... Aurelius Flash. That's greedy. Uh, let's see the Rootbound or Greater Gargadon. Oh, actually, Gargadon seems great with this Chandra because you can just sacrifice the tokens. Let's take the Bonfire just in case. Let's take this Banefire just in case. Bonfire and Banefire. There's the Banefire. I'm going to take this Ulamog. This is 25 cards. I have to make two cuts here. Yikes. We only have 12 creatures. I want to take the Buried Alive. No one needs to be sneaking Reanimator here. Young Peasy seems meh. Are you serious? We only have 12 creatures, which means the rest of our cards are spells. So... That's strange. I might take out Fight with Fire, actually, because they can't go to the face. Uh, take out Plow Under. Bedlam Reveler last pick? Sure. I mean, like, I'm not going to... It's going gonna, it's gonna to actually cut me off before I get to... Yep, that's what it did. I mean, all the cards that trigger your Pyromancer. Plus, it's great with Stoke the Flames. We'll cut Fight with Fire. Maybe we're actually a 16 land deck. We have six. Actually, it's only six targets. Maybe that is bad. The problem is, like, even if you make one dude, like, it's still a great sword. It's, it's a great sword target. <sighs> I mean, the green splash is probably more viable because we have Stomping Ground, but I really don't want to mess the mana base up because we have Koth, so the number of mountains we have is extremely relevant. Grim Monolith? I mean, we have a pretty heavy top end. Playing any of these cards on turn three is pretty insane. Not Gargadon. I mean, I would just play 16 lands here to be quite honest. 16 lands Grim Monolith, and I think that's actually fine. Um. 
Stomping Ground is a mountain, that's true. But we can't just play Stomping Ground. We also, Ren and Six doesn't do much. Bloodbraid Elf would be the best, but... I mean, I don't think this matters the earliest you can swing with it. Like, we have Chandra, which makes two tokens, and then we get to... No, I, I think Sword is great. It gives you a lot of reach. It makes all the tokens you're making from P and Karen Law and Rabble Master and, and Young Pyromancer just very, very good. One island, negative 16. Also, if I submit my deck, um, it's very possible that we're just playing the round because that's how this works. So I want to be careful. I don't think Outpost Seed and Flame Tongue Cover are better than anything we have now, but I think they're good sideboard cards. Fight with Fire, same thing. Manic Vandal, same thing. Rift Bolt's more of a one drop. Yeah, I think this deck seems good. I mean, even if Young Pyromancer is literally just 2-1 for 2, that makes like one token, it's still very good. Sammy, have a good have a good uh have a good second dinner, buddy. Good luck. We also have Banefire and Bonfire, both of which came back. Yeah, I'll just submit like this. I'm I'm comfortable with it. Yeah, you play against your draft pod, so we have to wait for all the people in our pod to finish their, their deck building. We have to wait for their deck building. Also, Runaway Steamkin seems insane. And it's also just another mana source. Like, if we get two lands, we can go Steamkin, play a thing, put a counter on it. You know. Only tight plays, guys. Only tight plays. Well, five minutes is the maximum. So the nice thing about this is like five minutes is the maximum time you can you can wait. Is 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 Walking Ballista better than Young Pyromancer? I don't know. My concern is this, like if you don't have a planeswalker, it's just like The two one ones are nice though. I guess that's fine. In future turns we can make two one ones and then put sword on them. The negative two is also fine. Like, being able to go negative two, recast, like, a Burst Lightning or a Rift Bolt, something. I almost want to cut Faithless Looting. Well, now it's too late. All right, here we go. Round one. <laughs> two dollars. Now it's ten tickets entry, same as a normal event. Keep them. Oh, yes. That moment when you're so you're so obsessed with playing. <laughs> you're so obsessed with playing cube that you'll be like, I'll play the single elimination cube. I don't even care. Give me a land. Don't two land me magic online in my single elimination cube. Uh, no, there's no reason this is been a rift bolt here. 
We have no idea if we're going to need to go face, if we're going to need to kill an Ophiomancer. We get a token if we just wait. Land would have been good. Yep, that's pretty good. I think we're just dead to primeval. This is why this is why I hate cube uh, as a single elimination format. It's just not fun. Because now they unearth this. Yep. So you take six though. That helps our uh, <laughs> that helps our thing. But here we go. No, single elimination is really never fun. Like you're not at the event to play one round to get knocked out due to bad luck. You're 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 at the event to really just do the thing. I just want to play games, right? And so like single elimination is just a just a shit format. Look at all my clues. Can I get a land so I can Rift Bolt this guy and then attack for 30,000 damage? That would be great. Okay, that would be great. Okay. Oh, really? I play Draw a Tree Speaker? Land. Oh, boy. Get mana screwed, lose to uh, turn two, turn three, reanimate on Primeval Titan. Solid. Super solid first game. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> you guys are witnessing the exact reason why I did not want to do this. Which is comical, but fitting. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, right? So they can one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they can crack three clues, which would be six, twelve. I just don't feel like uh I don't think our sideboard's gonna do very much here, I'll be honest with you. Does our sideboard have more mountains in it? Oh, I also don't think yeah, because it's because it's single elimination, you actually can't change your deck. So like once you submit your deck, that's that. If it was a league, I could be like, oh, I'll just add another land just to make sure I hit my my land drops because that's the only way you get to play Magic the Gathering. Oh, good, a Coalition Relic. Hmm. I'm pretty sure you can't in single elimination, but I could be wrong. Three mana. Mm, go for the throat. Sure. Go for the throat. Not a mountain, I bet. Do, do, do. It was a mountain. To the surprise of everyone. Oh, they got a hissing quagmire, right? So we're just dead. They just attack with everybody. We block here. Well, they were not dead, but it's not looking great. I really appreciate this uh, this screwdriver screwdriver safety. Yeah, now we're dead. Mm-hmm. Yep, congratulations, you're good at this game. All right, I mean, we can bring in Manic Vandal, but like, Flametongue Kavu seems decent here. This Chandra seems not great. Walking Ballista seems good. 
upgrade a Gargadon I don't care about really. I really don't feel like because you're running 16 lands instead of 17 lands that you should miss your third land drop. I don't feel like the math really checks out for that, but here we are. Especially with a Grim Monolith. I mean, we saw we saw Tireless Tracker, uh, one Draga Tree Speaker, one Unus Prowler, and one Primeval Titan. I'm not sure that... I'm not sure that we need a Bonfire, really. This is a really expensive hand, so we're either hoping to draw lands or cheap things, but... Okay. So next turn, if we can hit a, like, a three-drop, followed by a full fourth land, I think we're good. Hmm. So the library seems nice. Okay, well, I accept it because... It lets us cast these, these things in our hand, so... Question is to be Hellrider than Koth or Koth than Hellrider? Or we can Koth negative two and then play Hellrider and then attack with both. Oh wow. They missed the land drop. Oh wow. Three, four, five. Now we're just doing this. We're gonna go Koth. Trigger that. Negative two, Hell Rider. Una's Prowler. Discard something. Bring it back with a bird of paradise. No. Okay. Sure. I don't know what that I don't know why you do that during my turn. <laughs> Jesus. Oh god, he has a family. And game three. Oh, Jesus. That's weird that you would do that in my turn. Like, it's not like it comes into play tapped. Wow. So what is this? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve? That's lethal. Wow. Jesus. I mean, I think this is still fine. Wrecking that bee hole. This is the, the only problem with drafting mono red in the single elimination queue is that you have to wait for all the other matches to complete. Oh wow, this is a keeper. This is a keeper if I've ever seen one. <clears throat> What if we go Grim Monolith? Next turn we can play Koth into Runaway Steamkin into Pyromancer. And eh, we're just going to play Pyromancer here. Or, or Runaway Steamkin, rather. Runaway Steamkin never coming back. Steamkin on a wall. Are you going to Assassin's Trophy this guy? Oh, you're just going to go for the throat that. Sure. Wow, that seems weird. I don't understand these no plays though.
You kill this guy. You assassin's trophy this guy. Abrupt decay. All right. Well, you're getting there. We're doing it. We're living the dream. Garrick. Kill Pyromancer. Okay. Well, let me get to kill Garrick, so. Oh, do we just Rattle Master here? Oh, we know we cough and then Rattle Master. Yeah, that seems great. Yep, that's fine. Always attack. Attack Garok. Nailed it. Sure. They have one card in hand? Jeez. One, two, Grim Monolith. This untaps, right? That guy's gonna do it. You block here, you take four, five, six, seven. Any spell here, it should be should be great. That's not a spell, but it kind of is a spell. So you have to block Rabble Master here. So you take four, five, six, seven, and then this is lethal. But also all the other things are lethal too. So you're in top deck mode. Aleshnorn would be scary, but I mean, they can't cast Aleshnorn. That's fine. Oh god, they get two more draws here. Who are you attacking? Probably Koth, right? Yep, you got it. Crack a clue. I feel like their options here are very limited, so... And even so, like these three goblins also kill them because now they have they have to have like an answer for this and an answer for one of the goblins. It still doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay, you're doing a lot of stuff here, but <laughs> sure. Uh, target you. Get rid of Koth and Rabble Master. Wow. All right, the round is at 14 minutes, so uh, what's view prizes? Look at that, first 220 play points, 160 play points, so we are at least got 100 play points. We at least broke even, and now we wait 35 minutes to play the game, yeah, that's true. Do you guys come here often, or? Uh... Well, everyone is at least in game two, so that's cool. We finished all three of our games before anyone even finished our second game.
Oh, one down. One more, two more rounds. We're getting real close. Hmm. Tempted to refill my drink while I wait. Is it true that you stole your own lunch money in junior high? I can't confirm that. Thank you. The Mike Arnold, 30 months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I'm going to go refill this drink while we wait. So don't go anywhere, guys. I'll see you in a second. Goodbye. Goodbye. Do you think that was me pooping? That was amazing. That was like the fastest poop ever. Of course, nothing else happened though, un unfortunately. Well, it makes it faster when you have a litter box. That's true. That's a trade secret. Hunter. Hunter, go. Stop. Jeez. We got illusions and you're ruining them here. Then there was one. This is actually not too bad. Only it's like it's only been like six minutes so far.
All right, let's go rugged, rugged draw and Holika. Rugged draw is going to win. Well, if that's the case, then rugged draw has to win two more rounds, not one. So I'm kind of hoping that's not the case. Let's move this thing along. <laughs> Come on, Holika. Close it out, buddy. The worst thing is once they win, like there's like two minutes on the, it's like then you have a two minute countdown. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last legacy key. If you guys are on YouTube, you can probably just fast forward through this. I'm not too concerned about this in terms of uh, in terms of YouTube because you could literally just skip ahead until the round. So, two days in the valley was only maybe because of I don't even uh, two, I don't even know what two days in the valley is actually, which makes me feel weird. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm a Richard Cheese fan, but uh, I, I do appreciate some Richard Cheese. Cut my life into pieces. This is our last resort. Come on, Rugged Drew. And the, the, the bad thing is if, if Rugged Draw wins... Rugged Raw? It's not Rugged Draw. There's only one D. It's Rugged Raw, right? If Rugged Raw wins, then, then we have to wait for round three as well. Richard K Ricardo Queso. Richard Cheese did music for the Lego movie? That sounds awesome, actually. Hey, Ricardo Queso. Oh, we did it. Now we're sweet. Sorry, Holika, you were no match for Rugged Rugged Raw. Wait, no. Sorry. Sorry, Rugged Raw, you were no match for Holika. Nailed it. <sighs> well, All right, guys, 47 seconds. Here we go. Excuse me, he did it for the Lego Batman movie? Wow.
Does little man get his nail cut off? No, his, his nails are like never cut. All right, let's do it. Does Mike get his nails cut off? No, if Mike messes up on the stream, though, we pull we, we just pull a nail off. That's how that works. Oh, yes, keep. This is another snappable, keepable, McPeepable keep. We're probably going to lose, and then that's fine, because then we're done. Oh, wow, we just top deck a Gargadon? And we have this to just sack the tokens to every turn? Oh, boy, maybe we're not losing. Oh, biscuits. Oh my god. Chandra into Hellrider. Activate, make two one ones. Go crazy. Just go absolutely bonkers. Yeah, that's actually fine. Now we just gotta go Chandra and kill their Teferi? That seems good. One at your face, one at your tef. Sack these little boys. Wow, that's really good. My Gargadon is greater than yours. It's like I'm better than yours, thinking that me, but you have to charge. Okay. Do we just Pyromancer into fire here? Because I don't know if I want to throw a Hell Rider out into like. A bunch of mana. Oh god, if they go Cryptic Command though, counter this, bounce this, then it's so bad. Oh man. Sometimes you just literally ask for it. I don't want to walk into this combination of cards. Well, that's exactly what I got. Alright, well, that's good. Oh, it's big Teferi. One and is this Well, that's pretty good. We can go one, two, three, and then stoke the flames. I'd rather just play this and hope they don't have, like, remand. Oh, yes, this just resolves. Oh, fantastic. Alendra. Sure. Unfortunate. Well, sacrifice. Seems fine. I mean, this Gargadon's pretty big. I don't want to sack mana because we have a lot of five and six drops. And by a lot, I mean a few. But enough that we can just you can just wait for this guy. They have five cards in hand, which is like a lot. I'm hoping most of them are double white, I guess. Sure.
Well, if they were double white, then that's an interesting choice. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Sure. Okay. Having one land up here is nice. They have one mana up? How are they not dead here? Stoke the Flames Galenalendra. And like their one mana has to be like their one card has their their one land has to do so much work here. I mean you have to counter this, right? Rock and roll ain't noise pollution. Sometimes you just get them. Who's the reddest of them all? I am. I am the reddest of them all. Lots of planeswalkers they got there, huh? This does not hit planeswalkers. Our creature. I think our deck is good. I don't really feel like we need to change anything. Remember that time they're like, I have force of negation and I will be able to counter your barrier spell. And I was like, no, I'm good. They have Teferi, Teferi, Glenelanger, Archmage, Force of Negation, Cryptic Command. Those are the cards we saw, and I have to assume those are some of their better cards at the very least. Keep. Snap keep. Oh, and Jace the Mind Sculptor. Yeah, geez. They had like. God. Geez. God, geez. Terminus? Are we going to Terminus here? Oh boy, that's great news. Great success. I mean, they're going to have miscalculate for this Goblin Rabble Master, I'm sure. Oh my god, they did not have miscalculate for our Goblin Rabble Master. Sure. Bounce Rabble Master? Bounce the token? Does it matter? Not really. Okay. 
I'll replay. It's your boy. Going to get some Starbucks. Oh, it's cryptic command time. Okay. Well. <laughs> oh, boy. This is a lot of damage, man. So... Do I just pass and let them just keep their cryptic command? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, they just did nothing. Are they just dead here? I No one cares about that. Okay, so we're gonna go two to your face. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> I'll just assume that's lethal. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. Get out of my single elimination cues. Unbelievable. This is how this is how you win these single elimination cues, I guess. I mean, I was worried, but... And, like, the best part about the single elimination cues, the best part, literally, because I don't think there's very many redeeming qualities, is that once you get to the second round, there's only one round you have to wait for. You're about to make a hospital boy very happy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. <sighs> Well, sometimes you just have the red cards that are very scary. And your opponent's like, oh wait, the goal is to deal damage? Oh boy. Dan's, what's going on? Always a pleasure, my friend. Always a pleasure. I have to write my Cool Stuff article tonight. I'll probably write it about Jake P's deck, the Polymorph deck, because that was pretty sweet. I'm going to watch this Sunny D. It'll burn your throat clip. What I don't like about it. Why would that be a marketable quality that they would want? I don't think they market that part. Well, they, you don't think? Yeah, I guess that's true. They're not like, hey, it'll burn your throat, Sunny D. It'll burn your throat, Sunny D. Wow. <laughs> so good, man. Oh, God. What a time to be alive. Milk of the puppy? Oh, man, I'm fucking dead. You thought it was milk of the puppy? Yeah, I just thought it was Milk of the Puppy. Why would you think that? I don't even understand. You can milk anything with nibs. I have 
My puppy has nipples, Greg. Can you milk it? No. Let me return these teferis while we're while we're waiting. I don't want my I don't want my mana hours to go away. And also, if you guys uh have not done so, but you're interested. Oh shit. Do you hear that thunder, dude? Mana Traders is one of the sponsors of the stream, manatraders.com, and they have an awesome service, a subscription service, where you can borrow physical paper cards or magic online digital cards. And uh, you can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and the promo code below. So be sure to check that out. And it's pretty effortless. Their website's great. Their customer service is great. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat, stuff like that, so... Definitely check out manatraders.com if you guys are interested in something like that. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Oh, Sonny McD. It'll burn your throat, guys. What was that milk of the puppy quote? I don't know, actually. I don't know what I don't know what I don't know what the quote was, but Jesus. It was probably clipped at some point. Oh my god, a sunny a sunny D hot ones, that would be gas. That would be amazing. Guys, I'm real tempted to upgrade my computer again. I'm tempted to upgrade my processor and my my motherboard. I think my video card is still fine, and I think video cards are uh, a little cross prohibitive. But I, I'm thinking of the the motherboard and the processor at least. Oh, there it is. There's the milk of the puppy quote. I was literally looking at Ryzen. I was actually doing some research today between Ryzen and the i9s, and I'm trying to find. I have some videos up. I'm gonna. I'm looking forward to watching it after this. I haven't. I haven't used AMD in ages. Of magnesia. Look at the puppy. <laughs> well, it's milk of the poppy, not puppy, but you know. Isn't puppy? Did you think it was puppy? Yeah. No, it's poppy, like opiates, like opium. Milk of the poppy. Thought it was puppy. Thought it was puppy. Oh, crying out loud, man. new every day. Milk of the puppy. <laughs> My God, oh, holy shit! I can't, dude. He's like, that was milk of the puppy. Oh Lord, I'm basically dead. Let's go, D. Gomez and. Francus Aurelius. Gamer Nexus? Ba -boom, boom, boom. I cleaned up the link if someone wants to make it a command. Uh, I saw the YouTube Legacy match this jingle came from. In 2003, I was working at a discount grocery store. I sold two to three pallets of Sunny D every day. We stopped stocking it on the shelf and just made a pallet. Made it a pallet pick item to save res That's insane. Can't you guys command it? You guys are mods. You guys can command it. Hi, Bob. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the link, buddy. I uh, it op it is opened now. Oh yeah, I know these guys. I know these. I know these jabronis.
Well, Francus Aurelius is down a game, so. Not interested in double queuing? No, not even a little bit. I like to preserve my, my mental stamina. Plus, like, I'm recording a video for YouTube right now, so, like, it's just a, that's just a convoluted hot mess. It's just too much work. Like, I don't like double, I don't like, I don't like alt tabbing between two different matches, making sure I'm picking cards, thinking of one, and then I'm like thinking of one deck, the first deck that I'm playing, and then thinking of the, the, the draft, and I'm like, ooh, this card would be great. Oh, wait, I'm playing blue, white, not red, and I'm taking like a cough, but because I'm thinking of the red deck. Just. Double queuing is just a phase. Also, these guys should be done relatively soon, I hope. I got crushing to do, man. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Crushing makes me feel good. On the bright side, if, you know, in the last round, we either win quickly or lose quickly, I guess. Dude, sitting in the chair all day and like the stress of like matches and streaming, it's like it really destroys you. I'm just like, I feel so tense right now. I don't even know why. I need a massage. Sunny deal, burn your throat. It's milk of the poppy. And we're done. We can't just keep singing. Oh, July 22nd from this year. Core i9-9900K versus Ryzen 9 3900X. Which should you buy? The Ryzen is actually $50 more than the i9-9900K, which is really surprising to me because typically AMD has been the lower price point um, as far as processors go. AMD is usually the, uh, the more affordable competitor to Intel. Uh, do I prefer Sunny D or Capri Sun? Uh, Dan's obviously Capri Sun because it doesn't burn your throat. Oh, Intel did a price drop to compete. That's interesting because it's actually 50 bucks less. So they might have done, uh, that's impressive. Hold on one second. Let me check something real quick. Pow, open this guy. See where you open. That's where I thought you'd open. So my current processor right now is actually fine. Is i7 7700K. Seventh generation. So...
AMD is better for any multi-core workload, so streaming likes it. But if you care mostly about single-core gaming performance, Intel is still better by a smidge. If it's only better by a smidge, but AMD is better for multi-core workload than like streaming, I feel like we want to go Ryzen for once. I also like the potential of installing... I probably need to reformat, though, if I put a whole new processor. Oh, man. God, I hate reformatting. I don't know if Windows 10 is in a place where I can just pop in a Ryzen and, and, and a new motherboard. Computer jargon is pretty hard. It's it's so here's the thing, and I kind of uh, I kind of went over this a little bit on the podcast today with Andrew called where all my where all my friends are. Um, I could never remember science things for the life of me, right? But I could always remember ten thousand magic cards. I can remember the set they were in, the year they came out, what they did, their power and toughness, their casting costs. Like it's insane. And the reason. I feel like was because I was way more interested in magic cards than I was in science jargon and terminology. Um, so it was easier for me to memorize because I also had applications. Uh, this is my graphics card right now. Rock and roll and Oh yeah, my graphics card's fine. It's funny because I bought this card for like seven hundred, like two years ago, and oh god, they're going to game three, unbelievable. Um, and it was funny because after, right after that, Bitcoin mining became huge, and you couldn't even find the card for like under twelve hundred dollars. And I was like, this is the first time a graphics card uh, actually went up in value. Like it was so funny because because computer components don't usually they usually depreciate in value rather than appreciate in value. Is the Sunny D song to the tune of Wake Me Up Before You Go? It definitely feels like it. Sunny D, feel the burning throat. It de <laughs> wow, I wonder if it is unintentionally. I should ask Mike about that. Yeah, I, I could definitely um I could definitely upgrade my my video card in like a year or two, but like right now I think the 1080 Ti, especially the 1080 Ti is fine for what I'm doing. I'm not even doing anything super intensive. Like most of the stuff I'm doing is like uh, rendering videos for YouTube, uh, s recording on stream, which I'm not even sure if I encode for through through CPU or GPU. Sunny D before you go go. <laughs> exactly.
I asked that the day he made it, but he didn't answer me. Wow, that's messed up. Oh, what a jerk. My work pays $500 a year of massages and drink, drinking lots of water before and after the sit sand desk. Also, that's insane. I would love to have a job where my job pays for, for massages. Don't take this the wrong way, but when I get depressed about being 27 and too old to twitch during, I always come here and I feel better. Dude, I don't take that the wrong way at all, man. For sure. No, don't even... That's not an insult. I also seriously don't feel like I'm that old. Ever get tired of magic? Yes. Yes, I... No, um, I don't know. Um. Your job does, does it really? <laughs> you could ask Donos or Kerwin for a massage or sit stand. I'm pretty sure Josh would also would also contribute for that, and Badger would also contribute for that. I think like like my four highest, uh, my four highest uh, duders are would be Tonos, Kerwin, Badger, and Josh. I might actually cut this downtime out because it's very long. There's a lot going on here. And it shouldn't take that long. But I like the conversation in between. That's the thing, man. Like, I like the conversation we have in between. And I feel like if, if, if I just leave it in, I'm giving you the option to, to hear the conversation or I'm giving you the option to just fast forward through it because you can easily tell on Magic Online when the next round comes up because you can just see the, the screen changes completely. You know, like you get to see the, the, the background, the game background. I give my payments in the form of emotional support. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. What is the funniest clip you've seen lately? I mean, considering I just laughed out loud at my own clips, it's probably those. I don't really watch that many clips that aren't my stream because I just don't watch... I don't really watch that many streams. I think the only stream that I'll, I'll even catch with any regularity is probably Dan's just because I'm trying to support my friend. I don't even pay attention to the magic. You're just entertaining, man. That's that's like that's like next level compliment right there. I really appreciate that. That's crazy. That is an awesome thing to hear, man. Tetherbread, thank you so much, dude. I thought Tetherbread. I thought you left earlier, didn't you leave? So the thing about the thing about streaming magic and being boring, um, it's the same thing about writing articles, right? Like if you win an event, hey, I just won my, I just won the pro tour, right? I want to, I'm going to write an article about it. The, the problem is just because you play magic doesn't mean you're a writer. It doesn't mean you can be entertaining. It doesn't, or, or like, it doesn't mean you're going to be, uh, you know, you can, you can, doesn't mean you can tell a story. It doesn't mean you're going to be captivating on the page. You could just be a terrible writer. You just could win a magic tournament, right? Like there's no correlation there, but automatically we're like, Hey, you won, write an article. Um, and I think the same is true for streaming. Like there's what, 32 people that got MPL contracts. And the thing about it is like, just because these people are magic players and they're very good at playing magic, um, doesn't mean that they're going to be good at streaming or entertaining people or being charismatic. Right? Like, I mean, sometimes magic is actually a very socially awkward game where like people who play magic are, are not charismatic. And so it's kind of interesting. Like, because I think like just because you're a good magic player doesn't mean you're going to be a good streamer by any stretch of the imagination. There's literally no correlation there whatsoever. Meanwhile, is also extremely fun to play magic with in real life.
Magic probably 100% has shown that not just anyone can be good at streaming. It's 100% true. Like, I've watched streams where, like, people are just literally quiet the entire time. Or they don't, like, explain their plays. Or they literally don't say anything. Or, you know, there's no humor or entertainment. Like, it's just... Streaming isn't necessarily... Like, I don't like equating streaming with, um, like, being a course, right? I'm not going to your class. You know, you're not just a teacher. You're also an entertainer, I think. And you can just be a teacher. If you want a, a teaching stream where, like, you're totally, like, you're, you're, you're not necessarily entertaining, but you're, and you're informative, that's fine. Like, that's totally fine. You can do that. But I think a lot of people go to stream is because they want to be entertained. And uh, when you guys tell me, like, you know, I have a lot of friends who, like, work at Microsoft and stuff, and they're like, hey, I just put you on in the background because it's fun to hear the, to have the stream in the background. I'm like, that's awesome. I completely accept that. If I am like your audio entertainment, if I'm like your your work podcast via streaming, totally cool. I, I will 100% accept that. I think that's a great compliment. And as someone who tries to be entertaining and engaging, that is the most I can ask for. So... I was really tempted to make a podcast where I invite people to talk to them. I don't know who I'd... It's, I worry about getting getting in touch with people and, like, having them... It's weird as a Magic player asking Magic player questions, you know, because a lot of the times I have the answers to them, you know what I mean? Like, hey, what was it like playing your first Pro Tour? How did you feel? Were you nervous? Because I know these answers, you know what I mean? Like, I've been there. Or, like, you know, what's it like streaming Magic professionally? Like, I, I know the answers. Can I join you and Andrew on your next podcast about nothing? I might not have much to say, but that's okay because it's about nothing. <laughs> God, Josh really contributed nothing to this podcast about nothing. I'm just sitting here watching South Park and playing video games with you in the background. Nice. Oh, I'm down for a slug cast. We can totally slug cast. I have to ask Andrew when we're recording next. I'm really looking forward to seeing if this podcast develops into anything. And we also need to figure out, uh, we need to get some, some art, some podcast art. Oh my God. If I could get a, if I could do a podcast with Mark Marin, dude. Oh my God. Mark Marin is a podcasting inspiration. Not only do I love WTF podcast. I also love the show Marin that was originally on the independent film channel, which was, is now on Netflix. If you guys haven't watched Marin on Netflix, it's fantastic. It's one of my favorite, like, like sitcom-y shows. It's not really a sitcom, but, like, it's only, like, five seasons, I think, but it's very, very good. It's super good. Mark Maron is just a super cool dude. He actually just posted on Twitter recently about how he's been, like, 20 years sober now, and it's he's just a really impressive guy. I'm watching Friday the 13th season having on my phone, so I'm not too scared. Yes! <laughs> Dan's, I'm really glad I could help you uh, help help curb the fear, buddy. Really, uh, really appreciate that. Oh man, here we go. Here we go. I'll keep this hand. I feel so old, like, thinking about it now. I used to listen to your specially brewed podcast with Ollie. Especially brewed? Freshly brewed. Uh, during Magic Origins, my young self would be skateboarding to work with your fine voice in my ear. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. I accept, though. I appreciate that. One art streamer was giving advice on streaming, and she said, you need to talk about your thought process. And Dang, I was hoping it would be a two-drop. Uh, and why you were doing what you're doing because you do because you do that I've been able to listen to your streams in the car I only miss a few things because you describe what you're doing well it's like what's the point if you don't right like good luck cheers oh man Dan's I like your random bits like this time I was 27 last time I was 35 I think you're just like I think you just hit the button until you can't anymore you're like alright this is a good number 
Oh, Sin Collector? Oh, this is great because we get to Magma Jet this guy. And then lose nothing. And then we still get to draw what we want. Uh, oh, wow. Do I want to just keep both of these? Yes, I do. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. Holy jeez. Do we just get to go next turn Legion War Boss, next turn Koth into Chandra? Oh, wow. Tattered bread, I appreciate it, buddy. Anything, anything you want to do to support the the, the channel is, is fine. If you want to do a dollar a month, that's totally cool. I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I need to update my Patreon because a lot of the reward tiers are not like I just haven't been keeping up to it, and that's mostly because I started writing articles for like cool stuff, so I have a like an actual outlet for for my articles. But nonetheless. I, th I still think it's a great way to support. If you guys don't want to have the $5 a month to stream to Twitch, you can go to Patreon and do like a dollar or $2 a month. And that's like so much, it's easier for a lot of people. So that's all my bits. <laughs> just, look at that CH in there. Sammy, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Stoneforge Mystic, get a thing. We go cough into the Chandra that's on top into kill Stoneforge Mystic. That seems good. Did they just whiff? Oh man, this is insane. Oh boy. I'm trying to like figure out how this could be any better. Eh, we're just gonna put both of our planeswalkers to one, but they have no creatures on board, so Under Tuna's like, I wasn't worried about getting articles. I don't read that nonsense anyway. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. So basically, we have two Planeswalkers, a Legion War boss, and uh, two goblins on board. Seems good. Okay. No, nothing, huh? Is Settle the Wreckage in this cube? Oh, trust me. Undrum Tuner, you're 100% supportive. That's not even a question. What is this? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 damage. I mean, they can manatize this. That's fine. They have two cards in hand. Okay, we just win. <laughs> oh, God, our deck is disgusting. We're definitely bringing in Manic Vandal because they have a really good sword. A pro red sword against the red deck. We can also bring in Flame Tongue Kavu because they clearly have Creechies. Forrest, thank you so much for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. You guys are great. I'll take Greater Gargadon out, I guess. Greater Gargles. I need to say, oh, Sammy, you are super supportive, dude. You donated like 100 bucks today. What are you talking about? You are the most supportive dude I know. You are definitely one of my favorite supporters, dude. I need verification. <laughs> can you say it in a soundbite that I can record and use as my ringtone? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to just submit like this. I don't think we've seen enough to play Kavu, but... Whatever. Okay, I'll keep. I'll keep. Boy! No, oh, that's good. Uh, I don't think I want Faithless looting here. Like, what do you mean discard? Oh, 
Oh, wow. That's nice. That's what father likes. Can I draw Chandra? Oh my god, six mana Chandra and I just start giving you emblems? That's all I want, man. One time. Oh my god, it's gonna be too It's too good to be true. They're gonna counsel his judgment this. Liliana? Sure. I'll just discard Faithless Looting. Oh my god, can you imagine? It was not, it was a land. So we can actually go Chandra, add two, let's do this. One, two, three, four, Chandra. And then one, two, three, four, and we can just stoke the flames this Liliana. So now we have lots of things. Thursday or Friday, should I have my latest Modern Medicine donation scenario? That's awesome, dude. I really, I love it. I love it. James, you are the best, buddy. Uh, no, why would I discard? Oh, God. Oh, boy. Let's exile the top card, see what we hit. Oh, no. Burst Lightning is just gonna, that's fine. I think modern, if you can ignore Hogak, I think it's actually pretty sweet. Necrotal, what a piece of, what a piece of shit. This is actually problematic, but I'm glad we brought in the Manic Vandal. Oh, they get two attacks with this, two, two life gains. That's pretty good. They went to face? Interesting. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Well, for one, it's Necrotal, not Necrotal, but I, I appreciate that. Oh, man. Like, they can't kill this next turn. So we put them to 12, they gain 3, they go to 15, but then they're like, they're on the clock. <clears throat> we can also keep Rift, we'll, we'll suspend Rift Bolt here. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's not great because they have Aether Sphere Harvester, but... Alright, so we're probably just gonna shoot their face because we have Magma Jet for this guy. So I'd rather maximize the damage. Oh, that's great. And we actually want to kill it on our turn because... Uh, we cannot... Mm, non... Um, I don't know. 
You know, I've never tried to do that before. <laughs> sure. How is the plus one not a mana ability? That's interesting. Grim Lavamancer seems good. Mountain seems bad. I guess we'll just keep this guy. It's a loyalty ability? I guess loyalty abilities can't be mana abilities. Well, dang. One? Oh, crew one? That's brutal. I guess we're fine with not attacking anything here. And as long as I don't have any energy, I'm not too worried about either Sure Harvester here. Having Aether Sphere Harvester and Faith's Fetters, though, is pretty scary. Well, that card's really good, but... Sure, Brain Mag with no cards in my hand? Yes, please. Yeah, seems good. Yeah, looting is still in here. We just don't have anything we want to discard here. We are in the single elimination finals, yes. Never thought I'd see the day here, but. This is game two, we won a game, we won game one. Wait, what? Really? It's fascinating. So we have six cards that actually trigger this. One, two, three, four of them are in the graveyard. So we're going to block here. They have no cards in hand. Seems fine. Wow, we're just trading with an Ophiomancer? Oh boy. So we just have to stay alive, basically. Wow. This just, this is, this has to be. Oh, this is pretty bad. Yeah, this is stupid. I forgot about the stupid. Because if we, even if we go to kill this in response, they can, they can use mom to protect it. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Oh, actually, if they use mom to protect it, I guess we can actually go shoot this and then shoot it with P and Karen Lar too. Or shoot the mom. I don't think we can kill both though, right? Oh wait, they just, they, they actually activated it wrong. Oh, this has summoning sickness. So they actually can't protect. Oh, wow, that's nuts. Oh, that's real bad. Okay, so that's significantly better than I thought. Oh, yeah, they, that's fine. I don't care about that. 
Oh yeah, that's insane. They just played Mitra's Factory last turn, so they couldn't actually activate it to uh, to add a counter. I don't think we're blocking yet. I think we're just gonna save save our save our effort for this Chandra. End step they're doing something? Fatal pushing that guy. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. What time is it? It is now eleven thirty three PM right now. Sure. All right, and now the clock starts. Oh boy. Blade splicer, sure. Oh. I mean, we're still, we're still not in great shape, but we can actually take down all these creatures. Chump block the Harvester. Easily block the Snake or the Brain Maggot. Oh my god, I was like, what? Really? You're getting in there with that thing? Uh, we can go to four here. Uh, actually, if we're going to... So we block there, we take three, four, five. Not ideal. We need something here. Siege Gang Commander? Mountain, huh? Cough of the Hammer. Yikes. That does not do it. So they, they give this like protection, then they have a three drop and this. So if they draw any creature, they can attack with both. Right now we can block here. We take three, four, five, six. That's no good. Yeah, I think we're just too far behind. Yeah, the negative three doesn't do anything, I don't think. Maybe it does. I don't know. I don't have a, f a good feeling about it. Depends on what they want to do, though. Yep, that's what we were afraid of. However, I mean it's not terrible if they don't if they if they have to draw a creature here. If they're in, they're in top deck mode. They have to hit a creature, or else they can only deal three. So they did not draw a creature. They're gonna put us to three. Interesting. Wow, that's that's something right there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh god, we're so close. Ugh. 
this thing is really problematic. Let's have a mountain. I mean, just don't, if we, if we, if they don't draw a creature for one turn, I think we might actually have this, but God, it's going to be real close. Just don't draw a creature. Come on. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. That's a land. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. I mean, if they have a removal spell for for this, One, two, three, four. Untap this. If they have a removal spell for our mountain, they have one more draw step. Oh god. Oh my god, we 3 owed. <sighs> I'm just going to let the Shonda emblems kill you. Wow, I didn't think we were winning that game. Holy Jesus, what a butt clencher. My butt cheeks are so clenched right now. Can I go back to that draft, though? This is how you 3-0 in the single elimination queue, I guess. I want to see my previous right. I want to know if I went three. I, yeah, we definitely lost the game, I think. Wow, that was fantastic. Thank you. Oh, my God, the boy in the hospital is cured. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Amanda Traders, CoolStuffInc.com, Patreon.com slash Frank Lepore, Twitch, anywhere you want to check it out. Me out. Things out. I'll see you next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys.